It wasn't long ago that sports were dominated by men. In the 1971 to 1972 school year, only 7% of high school athletes were girls. Fast forward to the 2010 to 2011 school year, girls made up over 41% of all high school athletes. What changed? Congress passed Title IX, giving women and girls equal opportunities in athletics. Studies now show that on average, girls who participate in organized sports are healthier, happier, and have more successful careers than their cohorts. That's great news, right? But now, some are using Title IX to take away opportunities from female athletes. From basketball to soccer, to track and field, to wrestling, female athletes are being forced to compete against males and losing championships and potential scholarship opportunities in the process. Allowing males to compete in women's sports could potentially erase the progress women and girls have made in athletics. Men and women are different, and that difference matters, especially for athletic performance. In 2017 alone, well over 5,000 men and adolescent boys ran 400 meter times that were faster than the personal bests of U.S. Olympic gold medalists Sonia Richards-Ross and Allison Felix. If female Olympians are at this much of a disadvantage, how much more are high school and college athletes? Take a look at this video clip of University of Montana track athlete June Eastwood in the mile-long race at this year's Big Sky Conference Championship for women's indoor track and field. Here, at the beginning of the race, you see June take a position toward the front of the pack and then lose a couple places. June moves back and forth between second and fifth place for a large part of the race. Fast forward to the three minute mark, here's where you'll see June take the lead. And now on the outside, we're going to first, Eastwood, Montana. Watch as June continues to break away from the girl in second place. June will go on to win the race with a considerable lead. And coming down the home stretch, June Eastwood of Montana. Just two years ago, Eastwood competed on the men's team. No amount of hormone blockers can undo Eastwood's biological advantages. In response to the surge of males competing in women's sports, Idaho Governor Brad Little signed the Fairness in Women's Sports Act. One of the bill's sponsors, Representative Barbara Ehart, says, it protects equal opportunities for girls and women in sports. It ensures that only biological females are competing in the sports designated for girls and women. Under the act, every athlete is free to compete, either on the teams that match their biological sex or on teams designated as co-ed. The American Civil Liberties Union has filed a lawsuit challenging the law. The ACLU denies that these males have unfair advantages and claims that males who identify as female are actually female. Alliance Defending Freedom is defending Idaho's law on behalf of two college athletes, Madison Kenyon and Mary Kate Marshall. A biological male's feelings about his gender should not be used to erase hard-won opportunities for women and girls. Visit www.adflegal.org slash fairplay. Sign the petition and take a stand for fairness in women's sports.